Hey guys, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a Trico spinner. This is a tiny mayfly. It's uh, probably one of the smallest mayflies. I think there may be a blue winged dollar that's a little smaller, but we're going to tie it on a size 22 hook. This is a real fun spinner fall to fish late in the season, August, maybe into October, depending on what your weather is doing. But we're uh, we're going to tie it on a size 22 hook. 24 is another good size. It's a small one, but it's a pretty simple fly. So let's dive into that right now. All right, so in the vise, we have a Daiichi 1310, size 22 hook. It's a super small hook, but it just matches these mayflies, unfortunately. You can tie it in a 24 as well, but we're gonna run some black Vivas 16 aught thread down the uh, length of the shank and clip that excess out of the way. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just creating a little thread bump here to splay out our micro fivet tails. This isn't quite necessary, but I do tend to just prefer having those naturally splayed tails on a mayfly spinner. This will match all of those spinner falls that you encounter for the trico, which is a late season hatcher, usually in August into maybe the end of November or generally when the first frost happens. Now we're gonna use some of these uh, mayfly tails. This is a light dun color. You could also use white, but I kinda just prefer this. And we're gonna grab three of these filaments off because the Traco does have three tails. If you want, you could certainly tie four in so you have sort of one as an insurance policy, but I'm gonna just try to maintain some realism here. And I want to measure this to be a little over the length of the hook shank. We'll get them tied down right on top. And you can get a loose wrap in there and then manipulate them as needed. Get in here with your maybe scissor points and just separate these. And you'll see how oh, that little there's really no way I can do this without blocking the camera. That little bump works to your advantage and you can also slip a bit of thread just behind it. And you'll see how that now is cocked upward and will sit well on the surface film. Now I'm gonna clip that excess and we're gonna bring our thread about an eye's length, maybe an eye and a half right behind the eye. And uh, for wings, we're gonna use polypropylene yarn in the color white. And you'll see I have just a little bit here. This isn't a whole lot of fibers, but you don't want that for such a small fly. So go ahead and cut that off. And then we will tie this in for our wings. This is a overly generous amount, but I'm gonna put this right on top of the hook shank and just tie it on in. And we'll hit it with a few figure eight wraps short of this fly being really tiny it's actually quite easy and straightforward and this is my go-to pattern anytime i'm fishing a trico spinner fall which i used to do quite a bit of when i lived in pennsylvania so now we're going to clip this out of the way just pull it up we want it to be about one and a half times the gap gap of the hook that looks good to me so for the body of this fly, we're gonna use super fine dry fly dubbing in the color black. And you'll see I'm not using a whole lot of dubbing whatsoever. It is a very tiny amount. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this to our thread now. And you wanna get it evenly on there. And again, less is definitely more for this pattern. I'll get my wings out of the way. We want to bring our thread right in front of the tail. Move this dubbing up as needed. And we'll go ahead and wind a body. You will see these wing fibers sometimes get stuck. And we can trim those out as needed after the fly is done. See, we got that going on now. So let's just get in there. A 
Sometimes I'll sort of twist this wing fiber and that will kind of orient it where I need it to stay there. And as I approach the thorax, I'm just building a little bit of bulk here. These mayflies, if you see the real ones, they almost look comical in there, that they're quite chunky despite being a spinner. Get rid of some of this dubbing. I overshot. And now you'll see where, just behind the eye, I'm gonna do my final wraps of dubbing and hit it with a half hitch. It will come in here and whip finish it. And that will be your trico spinner. Be careful not to crowd the eye, obviously, but we did a good job. And that fly is done. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.